welcome to a special hurricane episode of The Countdown. As you can see, we're not filming in our usual location today. Our studio is in the middle of Manhattan, which is currently without power due to Hurricane Sandy. But the show must go on, even if it's from my apartment. So, without further ado, here's your countdown. Five. Hurricane Sandy has come and gone, and here in New York, we're still recovering. What made Sandy such a monster? A lot of factors contributed to this so-called Frankenstorm, including a full moon. During a full moon, the moon and sun line up on opposite sides of the Earth, in alignment called syzygy. Syzygy, which also occurs during a new moon, means that the tidal force from the moon combines with the force from the sun to give us slightly higher tides, and the unusually high tides made flooding more severe. While the water has receded, the damage it caused, estimated at more than $20 billion worth, is still being repaired. Four. Scientists have detected light from the first stars in the universe. This light is nearly impossible to see from Earth because the Milky Way muddles the signal. To cut through the noise, scientists relied on an indirect measure. They looked at high-energy gamma rays created by enormous black holes called blazars. You can think of them as giant cosmic flashlights. We know that starlight interferes with gamma rays, acting like fog. The scientists found the most distant blazars were dimmed the most, indicating ancient stars were up to a hundred times larger and burned brighter than the stars we see today. Read more about it in the November 2nd issue of the journal Science. Three. Vesta is one of many asteroids that bounce around our solar system. Without an atmosphere to protect their surfaces, these bodies pick up distinct signs of age as they weather solar wind and large impacts. But images from NASA's Dawn mission shows that Vesta is aging differently than other asteroids. The images show color variations on Vesta's surface, which do not match the typical signs of space weathering. One reason for the lack of aging may be that Vesta lacks nanoscale metal particles. On most asteroids, these particles contribute to the weathering effect. Another theory looks at the patterns of bright and dark materials on Vesta. This explanation suggests that low speed impacts smear carbon onto Vesta's surface, which mixes with the original soil to give the asteroid its unique appearance. Both studies are published in the October 31st issue of the journal Nature. Two. Astronomers have discovered two supernovae, which burned up to a hundred times more brightly than any supernova discovered thus far. These are also the most distant supernovae ever detected, and came into existence about one and a half to three billion years after the Big Bang. A supernova, you might recall, is a star that implodes and then explodes, releasing a huge amount of energy. One theory on the origin of these super bright supernovae is they were massive stars, about 100 to 300 times bigger than our sun. The cores of such large stars could reach temperatures 250 times hotter than the core of our sun, and when it imploded, it would release 60 solar masses of carbon and oxygen, instantly undergoing a massive thermonuclear explosion. These superluminous supernovae were discovered by data compiled from the Canada-France-Hawaii Telescope, which sits atop the Big Island of Hawaii. You can read more about them in the October 31st issue of the journal Nature. One. Speaking of Hawaii, it turns out that the soil on Mars is similar to Hawaii's. This is according to results beamed back from the Mars Curiosity rover this week. Using its robotic arm, the Curiosity rover scooped up a sample of Martian soil and dropped it into its Kemen instrument. The instrument emits x-rays, which can be absorbed by the soil and reveal the type of atoms present. Some of the x-rays bounce off the crystals in the soil, which tells us about their spacing and structure. Interpreting this data, NASA researchers found the mineral structure of the soil is similar to basalt, a volcanic rock formed by the rapid heating and cooling of lava. The Hawaiian Islands have similar soil because they were formed by volcanoes. In the coming weeks, Curiosity will test the soil using the Sample Analysis at Mars instrument, or SAM, which can identify carbon compounds, the basic building blocks of life on our planet. And that's it for the hurricane episode of The Countdown. For links to all these stories and more, visit scientificamerican.com slash the countdown. The link's in the description below. You can also subscribe to the Space Lab channel or watch another video. For Scientific American, I'm Sophie Bushwick, hurtling through space at 30,000 meters per second.